Hi everyone, this is Sunil here. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about the user exits, the Java part of it. That is, if you're planning, if you're on a version greater than 9.7 or so 9.6, 9.7.1 or uh, version 10.4 or 10.1, right? So if you are in this version, then you have to use uh, Java to implement it. There is another way. I will show you in another video how you can do it without Java and still it is compatible. I mean, you could uh, do it, but not advised actually. You can, uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a separate video, okay? How you can uh, escape from this Java part. But anyway, in this video, we'll be concentrating on the Java part. That is how you can do the things uh, um, how you can implement a user exit in the Java side, right? So let's move on. Um, how do you do it in the Java part? I mean, uh, is it, how is it different from the uh, earlier things that the packages? The thing is here, Informatica, I'll tell you why Informatica has done it. Why, what's the reason of it? The reason is, see, currently Informatica is just supporting Oracle, DB2, and Microsoft SQL Server. Just three databases. Now that's fine, right? But if you check other Informatica, sorry, other MDM tools, you see that they support a lot of other databases which Informatica is not capable of, like not capable, uh, is currently not capable of, right? So they would like to extend their MDM uh, database into something like Teradata, Netza, uh, and how to many different databases that you have, right? So they want to do that, and to do that, they have to be platform independent because they cannot create a code for Oracle and different code for DB2, different code for Microsoft SQL Server and all that. Now that's, uh, that's going to be a pain, right? So they want to generalize the things and they leave it up to you if you want to create, uh, do with the Java or the packages and all that, but they have decided the main interface will be based typically on the uh, Java site starting from 9.6.1 version. Now, how would the program look like? For example, let's go and try to understand a user exit program. So, basically what a user exit program is, if you understand the earlier video that is uh, about the packages, then this is pretty much the same. For example, I'll compare this one. See, this is my packages and CMX UE and whatever custom code I want to put, I am going to put it here, right? And that's what I'm going to do. But here, the thing is, it's slightly different. You have to create the code in Eclipse. For example, you go here, and in Eclipse, you would have to create this code, post landing or any user exit that you want to create. You have to create it in the here, and it's pretty much uh, same. I mean, it's not a difficult concept. For example, I'll just show you. Um, see, for example, this is one post landing user exit, right? And similarly, if I have some other user, user exit programs, for example, this is post merge user exit, uh, let me open this. You can see here, uh, it's a standard package, then it's importing a lot of libraries, right? And uh, I'm using JDBC, so that's why I'm importing these things as well. I'm also importing array list, uh, iterator, list map, and all that, because I'm going to use that logger and all these standard things, right? So I'm using that, and in fact, actually, I'm also using SIF, SIF, Services Integration Framework, uh, get record feature, to also get a particular record. For example, I'm going to so explain you this particular program. Uh, see here. So this is the post merge user exit implementation. So post merge user exit implementation, it is done. And it's implementing a standard already defined user, uh, defined class. And then you have the logger that is initialized. And then this, uh, this is the process user exit. This is the uh, most important thing because this contains the different variables. And the most important thing is user exit context because you are going to open the JDBC connection just using this user exit context and then you have the records that were merged and that's in this map okay and you can play around this once you read it and here I'm initializing this particular values frankly speaking you don't need to do do this the reason is this is not needed I mean you the Informatica you can always use this particular thing to set your connection so Informatica is automatically going to use that this is not needed but this is the program I was testing and then this is the arrays and then simply it's looping the records okay doing certain things all the customization that it wants to do and then it's getting a record uh, from the base object okay logging it into some information and a lot of stuff a lot of customization things so basically this is a program what it is doing is uh, reading certain things from reading the records that were merged and then based on that it's also kicking off a get request 
SIP API, getting a record from this particular uh, uh, base object and doing some customization and actually printing the output. Okay. So depending upon your uh, thing, what you, uh, your uh, requirement and all that, you could, uh, you, you can do whatever you want. So all the customization, you might want to do the say logic in Java or you might want to do the uh, thing in, um, let's say if you are not that much comfortable on Java, then you could always use uh, PL SQL. Uh, you create all the code in your PL SQL and call that PL SQL uh, code in the Java, which I'm going to show you in the next video. Okay. And this is about this post uh, merge program. Now, if I check at some other program, if I have something like a post load, so this is an example of a post load user exit. <clears throat> and if I check this, uh, you can see here, doing a lot of stuff, but the logic is pretty much the same. You import all the standard libraries and these are all the jars that are needed. You need to add these jars. I will show you how to add these jars in the next class. Uh, and uh, you see all this the different stuff here. It's doing, it's initializing certain set of variables and then reading it, opening it a file, doing a lot of stuff. Okay. So this all stuff is all custom. I mean, you can put whatever you want. I mean, you know that Java does not have any limitation, right? So whatever is possible in Java can all be implemented here, right? And earlier video I showed you, like in earlier uh, text, I was showing you the post merge where we were using the user exit with the SIF, user exit with SIF, right? So this is what it is, okay? This is how the programs are going to look like. Uh, in the next session, right, I'm going to create a, uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, create a program in Eclipse, this user exit program and how to actually uh, import it into the hub and we'll run a job and we'll execute it. We'll see practical things, right? So I'm going to finish this session with that because the purpose was uh, to introduce the Java user exits to you and I think it pretty much meets the purpose. So thanks guys, you check my other videos. Thank you very much.